The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome to our trading hour with me. And it doesn't matter where you're at. As long as I'm here in the free state of Florida and we meet at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what else do you have going on today? Well... I will go through my sit rep, and uh, I have probably my best indicator that the market did find some kind of low. Uh, that low was going to happen in the next 24 hours after yesterday's close. Just because a market has stopped going down doesn't mean it's going up. And uh, especially with the damage done in the market, it's going to take a little bit of time. I do suspect. Uh, that we have a market that's more of a stock pickers. Wasn't expecting a great deal from the indexes today. Was looking for the opportunity to buy some things that I think can do well in the coming year. But again, remember those are all going to be, you're going to be sailing into the wind for those people that have ever learned to sail. Uh, sailing with the wind behind your back, of course, a very old saying, may the wind be at your back. Why? Because that's the easiest sailing that there is. You really don't have to cut back and forth. You don't have to trade in and out so much. But uh, I think it, we're probably looking at least in the next fall, uh, a stock park uh, pickers market. Uh, but uh, remember uh, that even if you think that this is a bear market, that the market's going to be going up. It may be only one point a day, but three-fourths of the time it's going to be going higher at the end of the day, or at least the indexes are probably going to be higher. Doesn't mean that they're going to be that much higher, and you can have some kind of significant uh, downturns. But uh, I think that there's a few things going on in the market. A great deal of the uh, hurry up and get out at any cost uh, I hear uh, from my deep, deep inside sources in the market, which have really never steered me wrong uh, when they pass something along, says that this is because of reduced uh, margin multiples, and especially on these larger, head fund, uh, larger hedge funds. As the Fed starts to pull money out, many of these, uh, the bigger broker dealers behind these folks have said, well, you got 30 to 1. You got 35 to 1 margins. We're going to bring that down, and you better start right now. And so what we've seen is a, a bit of that. Uh, you've seen the people that are really on the wrong side of many trades, like uh, uh, ARK Investments um, and seeing the big downturn on those. Uh, apparently, the ones that they are targeting are the ones that have probably gone after the stocks with the biggest P.E. multiples. I'm talking about multiples in the hundreds. Uh, it not, uh, you know, this one's got 18 and that one's got 16. Of course, this week, if there was any theme, it was people running out of high multiple stocks into uh, medium multiple stocks. Uh, the big names of the Dow, we saw that for a, a day. As we said earlier, uh, if there's just one thing that you can learn from a trailer, uh, trader, uh, probably fairly good. And that's all I learned from Joe Granville is one thing. And that is that uh, if the market, if the bonds are going down, people are going to run very temporarily into another part of the market. But it's the Titanic. It's still going down. So am I bearish for the rest of the year? The answer is no. I do suspect that Chairman Powell uh, has uh, learned the lessons uh, that he's been on the Fed for the last, what, almost 10 years now? And president not that long. Uh, that uh, he's not going to do anything to crush the markets. He's certainly going to let the air out. 
but that air is going to be let out uh, depending on what's necessary. If you're in a stock that needs lots of cash and cash uh, gets harder to get, more than likely those companies are going to go and start issuing shares. Now, these are the same companies that have been buying back shares. This is the opposite side of that, where there'll be a larger float, not a smaller float. A great deal of the um, appreciation of stocks has been these companies like Apple and Microsoft and others uh, buying their shares back, making uh, less shares available, making it harder for shorts to stay there. Uh, and again, a little wind at your back when you have people shorting you and your company's actually not a complete fraud. Uh, you make money. You have money in the bank, so you don't need money. You're not going to need to issue shares. You may not buy as many back. But there's going to be a real theme, I suspect, to this year, and that is going to be stocks that need less money, that are more stable. Uh, the more speculative the stock, the harder it's going to be for it to rally. But I at least uh, talked at nauseam a little bit uh, with my deep inside source. And he's saying that uh, the Fed uh, over Christmas and then the first of the year made it fairly plain that these uh, guys that are way out over the tips of their skis are probably going to have to pull it back a bit. And, of course, these are the same companies that drove prices probably beyond any kind of reasonable valuation. Uh, but certainly the more speculative of stocks, those that need to raise cash, are going to be the targets of bear raids this year. And those bear raids are probably going to be justified if these companies have to issue more shares. Uh, and uh, we can see. Now, like I said, I don't think the Fed is going to open a trap door and let everybody fall into the pit of despair. Yeah, pit of despair? can't remember my uh, Princess Bride. But I think it's the pit of despair. It could have been something else. Maybe a great uh, Princess Bride aficionado will email me or put a message in the dip, uh, in the uh, den dip, uh, of that. But that's kind of the way I see the market. Uh, doesn't mean that we're at a low. I did buy some stocks this morning. Um, I think that there's some opportunities in individual stocks. I did get some emails uh, asking me about uh, Joe DiNapoli's interview today. And I think, while not politically correct for some folks, he basically echoed a lot of the same things that I did, although he's much more gun-ho on guns and ammo. See what I did there with the rhyme? Uh, thinking that uh, uh, military stocks are probably a good place to hang out otherwise known as the defense sector. I went into something that I think is a little bit more defensey and cyber defensey uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, it had a nice bounce. But you kind of know that these things are going to pull back. They're not going to take right off. Uh, there's still a little bit of worry out there. And the market has not given me the all clear to the point where I'm betting the farm. I will judiciously and prudently buy stocks as more evidence says they are ready to go higher. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Talking in the Den, somebody actually spent a semester at sea. Great movie. I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, of course, I love everything sailing. But uh, if you get a chance to see it, White Squall, the true story of a, uh, uh, a, a learning, uh, a, uh, eh, like a preparatory school on the ocean, uh, circa 1962. Uh, and uh, I won't spoil the rest for you, but uh, about 95% true. There were a few liberties. Uh, got to work on the movie a very tiny bit. Almost everything that they thought that they may have to put in there as a uh, special effect ended up being uh, actually done in dunk tanks. And uh, one of the reasons why uh, a great deal of all the special effects in Hollywood ended up in... Uh, uh, the eastern block of uh, what used to be the Soviet Union. But uh, Hungary, uh, Poland, a lot of that stuff, almost all the... that I, That's where I learned that almost everything was leaving Hollywood and moving uh, because uh, it was just so much cheaper to do it outside and they didn't have to pay any attention to the unions, uh, Hollywood unions. So almost everybody, always a very interesting thing to see uh, the most uh, uh, pro gun ho folks uh, when it comes to money. Uh, speed at warp speed away from Hollywood uh, to save a buck. And uh, always interesting. Uh, anyway, great, 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 great movie. If you, especially if you love the water. But uh, eh. uh, I remember seeing the movie when it came out with some friends of mine. And at the time, I was actually living on a boat. So let me tell you a little bit how much I love the water. Uh, but that's it. Uh, anyway, uh, we got a member in the den talking about his time at sea. And, of course, occasionally I bring it up, but... Uh, uh, I was on a ship, and uh, you'll occasionally see it on the Weather Channel. 
uh, storm stories. But uh, I was on a uh, 279 foot uh, ship uh, that was a uh, supposed to be a wedding present, uh, but uh, they dumped <laughs> they dumped us all off in Honduras. And uh, depending on whether you see the uh, long or short version, there's a 30 minute cut and a one hour cut on the Weather Channel. Uh, you will see it. But uh, 1998. They dumped us off. The ship uh, went off to sea and uh, was never seen again. Heard from them for a few times on the radio. But uh, nothing like a uh, boat that's actually riveted together uh, that at top speed can make five and a half knots trying to outrun some storms. Uh, did very well for about a week and a half, but uh, finally caught up to them. But I'd been on that ship for... Uh, several times maybe that's one of the reasons why that i started uh going so many on those barefoot cruises but uh i knew the captains well uh they were uh twins uh from england one uh had one ship one had another uh but uh anyway uh the pompanito no that's not the one i'm thinking of the phantome if you want to look it up on the internet but uh yeah, they dumped me off and uh, yeah, never came back. I kind of spoiled my uh, view of the, uh, of, the uh, of the barefoot cruises after that, kind of heartbreaking. But uh, man, I think I went on 12 different cruises on those tall ships uh, in the 90s. I really disliked going on those big uh, cruise, cruise ships with 4,000 people. But to have uh, 30 people with uh, 35 crew on a 278-foot ship, where they would let you uh, help, uh, you know, climb the climb the rigging, uh, let you sleep in the widow's peak out front at night. I mean, uh, certainly an experience I love. I think there's still somebody doing it again today. But uh, again, kind of heartbreaking. I'll post a link to it in the den. But uh, eh. I do digress. Uh, okay. Um, what else do we have here we wanted to go to? Oh, a little bit of history. Got to do that, and we'll move on. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. Well, that was good. And on this day in 1838, Samuel Morse's telegraph system is demonstrated for the first time at Speedwell Ironworks in Morriston, New Jersey. The telegraph revolutionized long-distance communication, reaching the height of popularity in the 1920s and 30s. It was slowly replaced by the telephone, faxing, and email. However, it wasn't until January 2006 that Western Union, perhaps the most famous telegram company, sent its last telegraph. And, of course, in any business, you'll always sell your last buggy whip or something else. But on this day in 1838, the start of telecommunications. And of course, uh, yeah, figured out a great deal from there. Uh, okay, so what else do we have here? Okay, here. Okay, check the emails. Got a few of those. Okay, the pit is bare. Okay, it was the prin Princess Bride. I, I, it was hard to remember. Uh, but I think Zach asked another question. Uh, could you discuss your, this is from yesterday, just before the close, your perspective on gaps? I noticed the previous close at the end of the price action is a range indicated simply untraded space. Um, gaps uh, tend to get filled. They don't tend to get as filled as quickly as they once did, but I think that was a lot of Fed cash coming in over the last 10 years. I think a lot of people are not going to be able to trade markets uh, that aren't just straight up. This is, uh, as they say, everybody's a genius on the way up. Uh, this one just longer than most now that the Fed's pulling out cash. Generally, what you're going to find is uh, that a lot of cash went into places that it shouldn't have. And uh, we're going to find out about that. So you better be pretty sure about your company. 
and the uh, way that the market looks at it. Uh, but um, I mostly don't spend a great deal uh, of time on gaps other than gaps up with volume tend to be uh, support. But the big thing is to notice whether or not the story has changed on the stock or the market. And if it hasn't, then, you know, the, a, a high volume gap that's tested by half the volume is probably uh, about an 80 percent chance of a, a really good trade from there. That's uh, really the uh, Wyckoff method. And uh, I tend to uh, try that a great deal. Um, that and just a uh, very low volume test of the boots higher. We'll be back in a minute to talk a little more about gas. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And hey, I got somebody asking about that ship I was on. So I sent a link and put it in the den, but uh, it's the Phantom A, F A, not P H. But uh, interesting, and yeah, if you watch the Weather Channel long enough, you'll see me climb into one of the boat uh, boats uh, uh, on that. Uh, this is uh, sound cut off a little bit. 
say high volume gaps that are tested on 50% of the volume are 80% likely to, uh, to break and low volume test holes. Uh, I don't have any set up here, but this is the way generally you would want to look at it. And that is uh, the standard Wyckoff model is that uh, you get a lot of energy into the stock, uh, and generally that's a gap higher. Uh, it takes, uh, you know, two weeks, three weeks, comes back, fills that gap. All of that is on lighter volume. Let's say you gap up on 5 million shares. You come back and you test uh come into that gap with two and a half million shares all the time that it's coming back it's on lighter volume you don't exceed that big first move come back and you get uh you know two and a half million two million one million shares and that is the big chance to come back you fill the gap you've done it on lighter volume uh and yeah about 80 percent of the time you're going to get a fairly decent trade probably uh back up to the original high and it's a lot safer. Wyckoff called this, uh, he said there's really two kinds of rallies in stocks. One, he said one that has a lot of preparation, and one he would just call an automatic rally. Um, automatic rallies don't always know. Maybe there's some kind of news that comes out. No one knew about it. Catches a lot of short sellers off, uh, off on the wrong side. So you get the real big move. And it lasts a handful of days, and then it comes back and fills the gap, but there's no volume. The other kind is more like, uh, well, we talked about CCJ yesterday. Take a good look at that. You know, you had a big move higher. It gives it all up in a day. Uh, CCJ, right? There we go. Um, not a, generally a good sign when you come back, but if you hold that high and it does well, and then it pulls back all the way, this is kind of a the other side of that coin. You don't want it to give up most of uh, the move almost instantaneously. Uh, but, you know, this is when you get into markets that are fairly nervous, uh, anytime something pops, you tend to get a lot of sellers very quickly, which means that you probably, if it is a longer term move higher, you're probably going to take a little bit more time than it has in the past to move higher. But uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else out here that really has some gaps that I'm looking at. Um, eh, maybe I'll run it along something. But uh, generally, you want it to take, you know, if you pop, you want it to take a week or two to come back. You want to do it on light volume. And then generally, that's where you want to buy the pullback. Uh, but uh, there's the other kind. And I guess, you know what I need to do? I need to send you my white paper on three gap plays. It's old, uh, but it uh, pretty much uh, has left the t uh, test of time. The other gaps I like to play are three-gap plays. And uh, I'll find it during the next break and send it to you, Zach. Uh, but also show it on, uh, uh, on the show here so everybody can see it. But uh, actually a fairly good treatise on uh, what I look for. If you get two gaps... Uh, higher or lower, I'm going to also say that there's about an 80% chance you get a third gap. And it may take a month to get that third gap, but generally you get it. So I'm one that you get one gap and kind of a coin flip. You get two gaps and I would stay away from the stock unless you are already got a position in it, in which case I almost always wait for the third gap. Not that it's going to happen, but there's a generally an 80% chance you're going to get it. And I sell on that gap higher. Uh, my example in my white paper goes back to, I think, 2013. Maybe John in the Den can actually uh, bring it up to me. But uh, I think that's what it was. But it was uh, certainly, uh, which stock was it? I'll think of it in a minute when I find the white paper. But uh, it was exactly what you were looking for, the three-gap play back into the highs. And uh, yeah, I'll show it when I come back. Hey, we've got a few minutes here. We'll go into some, uh, some other things. Uh, but uh, what do we have here? Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. I remember that. Uh, okay. 
A uh, question about Avago. I think this is from yesterday. A V G O. Uh, have puts in it. I don't see any reason. I think did we answer this one? I think. I think, but maybe you didn't tell me he had puts in it. But uh, yeah, I think this is probably coming back to six hundred bucks. But he says they expire the twenty first. Yeah, I probably would hold on to them till Tuesday next week and see uh, how the market's doing. But uh, I don't see any reason why I would abandon them today. Uh, look pretty good. 650 puts they're in the money uh, you had a big day yesterday you're doing a little bit but it's going to take a handful of days to continue moving down lower i suspect the market's probably going sideways uh a great deal okay that's zach um had a question earlier from a subscriber it says are is this all you're buying today here and as i said uh in the uh beginning segment Maybe I didn't. Um, I don't, you know, when you have markets that are this violent and uh, this quick moves down, I'm not one to go all in uh, unless this is, you know, taking weeks to set up. But on a couple of day setup, uh, I'll buy some, but I'm not going to. There's nothing out here that makes me say I want to be 100% long or short anything at this moment. I'm going to keep my cash and maybe we get lucky and get a super huge blowout which would mean that i lose a little money now uh but probably get the opportunity to buy a whole lot lower uh but uh yeah i'm just not thinking that uh that a index that are probably stuck around these levels uh for at least a couple of days if we're going to start moving up my guess is uh probably next wednesday in the indexes uh, I have another question about uh, GLD and gold. As I explained yesterday, in a down market, uh, even gold tends to go lower um, at, for about the first two weeks in a market. Uh, you had a little bit of a rally, and now you have a reversal. But uh, could I see maybe all the way into expiration before gold really starts getting a, uh, a handhold? It could. I don't think that there's anything really bearish in gold, unless you're tra uh, tra uh, trading it very short term. But at the same time, I think you're going to have to hold your breath for a little while before this thing is ready to rock. But probably in a couple of weeks, it will. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. And you earn. Um, I tend to watch this. It's not a, a pattern that happens frequently, but I do have a white paper on it because I've made so much money on this pattern when it's worked out. And it works out quite a lot. Uh, but as I said, uh, probably the biggest thing I look at in gaps is support and resistance, but kind of really tough. There's more to that. It's one piece of the pie. It's not uh, overwhelming. There is one overwhelming pattern that I love, and that is the proverbial three gap play. Uh, this is the uh, uh, one I have here in uh, uh, Netflix, mostly because I talked about it on air. I executed on it and made a wad of cash in one day, although it continued on. Uh, but uh, the three gap play are three big gaps. And on the third big gap, and this is not tiny gaps. These are huge gaps. Um, you want to pull the trigger on, on it short if uh, things look like they're a little bit too rosy out here. Uh, Netflix on this day, what is this, October 22nd, uh, looks uh, like it dropped, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it dropped 100 bucks. I think um, it went from 395 all the way to 300 in one day. I mean, it just absolutely gave it up. And as soon as the market opened, I was short and was buying puts on it. Uh, but of course, on a gap higher like that, everybody is just throwing up their uh, puts, and uh, we were buying them 10 cents on the dollar. I remember mostly because John from Philadelphia uh, was in there. Uh, my gating, I haven't changed anything. If it's anything, it's Skype. So he says I'm taken. Maybe we, uh, we can reconnect during the break or something. Well, I haven't touched anything. I'm looking at all the settings, and they're all where they're supposed to be. So nothing changed here. Um, I've got little marks on all my equipment, so I know exactly where they should be set. And nothing's really changed. Um, out here, huh, I can turn that up a little bit. Uh, let's see what else we have. Anyway, uh, three gap play. If you want this, email me at path at tfnn dot com. Uh, but the the uh, a lot of people look at little tiny gaps. Uh, but uh, that's not what you want. You want big gaps, and this gives you a little bit idea of uh, just how those are. Um, Ten percent, twenty four percent, thirty nine percent. You get to a bubbly top. And those almost always are just huge. Uh, they tend to not come back and close those gaps, and they remain open all the way back up. But like I said, that third gap, whether higher or lower, 
can take a long term or a long time to come in. And you may have a little gap in that. And it was kind of a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of uh, that. But I think this thing was coming into earnings. And I think that was just a market maker spoof. Someone came out with a downgrade. And it lasted all of five minutes. Uh, but this gap on number three back on Netflix um, was uh, its kind of like one of those home runs that they hit in the last game of the World Series. You'll never forget it. And one of the reasons why trading, if you can do it well, uh, you'll always remember your first love and uh, the first time that you acted on something that would just made you want to throw up because uh, it was scary, uh, but paid off in spades. Okay, well, if that's working, let's turn it up a little bit more. Okay. Got some more emails here. Let's go out and take a look at that. Uh, again, if you want this uh, path at tfnn.com. Anyway, three gap play. Uh, it can go uh, both up and down. Uh, but like I said, the last thing you want to do with two gaps, uh, unless you know something I do not know about a particular stock or index, uh, and you can read that as insider information, is uh, do anything before the third gap, even if you have to miss the stock, because so many times it does exactly that. And uh, if you're long, you stay long, you get the third gap, man, you're out of it before you can absolutely blink. Okay, what else do we have out here? Two, 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 two. Uh, anyway, uh, three gap play, uh, probably the most important thing to learn because that's where you can uh, lose a lot. Uh, 877-927-6648, got a couple of minutes left. Uh, a couple of questions uh, uh, GDX. Uh, I think anything else going on? No, I just think uh, you you know you're down. You got light volume today. A good sign in it. I'm just gonna say that gold has a long history of making you just absolutely miserable. And it doesn't mean you're on the wrong side. It just means it really tries the patience of folks. And again, you'll always remember. I remember uh, we were in the Tiger's Den, and it had to be, I don't know, 2006, 2008, something like that. It was a long time ago. And literally, everybody cursed at me when I said I was going long, gold, because they were all sure it was going back to 300 bucks. And uh, I thought, there's never a better indicator than when literally everybody tells you something's going lower. Uh, but uh, guess what? Uh, that always stuck with me in the big moves uh, and the big profits I've always made in gold. Haven't been playing uh, the long trends have been when literally everybody is either bullish or bearish on gold. And uh, they become incredibly, eh, what would you call it? Uh, I'm going to say uh, despondent uh, or euphoric. But the, I'm, more, I'm not a big fan of going short gold. But uh, certainly uh, when the people have become absolutely the most despondent uh, in sideways moves like this, uh, it becomes it. But, uh, yeah, I think maybe uh, mid-next week you should look for some kind of uh, significant lows in this. And, uh, yeah, I think eventually it's going to turn the turn and not quit going up for years probably. But uh, when that happens, hard to say. 877-927-6648 with one minute left in this segment. We'll take a quick look. i uh, got a question about Apple. Um, he got a little more down today, but volume's starting to shrink. Um, the, you know, the big problem was you tested the previous high of Apple with 153 million shares with 99. Again, this is a stock that a lot of uh, big hedge funds uh, were driving up by buying it on margin. Uh, they're having to sell a bit of it now, and I don't think anything's going to change. I think you're going to find that uh, as the Fed goes through, you're going to find out that you're going to have to see th those multiples that the hedge funds have, 35, you know, 25 to 1 uh, of money 
are going to be sold. So just get used to it. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, I sent out all the emails uh, during the break. So uh, if you didn't get uh, your copy of uh, my white paper on three gap plays, uh, make sure and uh, email me once again. But I think I sent them all out. Uh, to, to, now, last is a question about uh, British Petroleum. Company I'll always remember because when I moved to Cincinnati, uh, the guy there was a big uh, uh, Ohio kind of guy and uh, decried every day. British Petroleum buying its local gas station line uh, and saying that they would never rename it to British Petroleum and leave the old name. And they signed an agreement and promptly within one year renamed everything to British Petroleum. So I knew they were liars and weasels, um, but uh, I didn't have anything invested in it. But he certainly did. I always remember that. Uh, now, on a pattern basis, uh, this gap down on the 2nd of November with uh, almost 19 million shares. Uh, you're back up here today with 10 million shares, 13 million shares yesterday, and 15 million shares. Uh, yeah, I'd ring the register and I'd be out um, if this is just a trade. If you got a longer-term one, crude looks like it's probably in a good business. Uh, the U.S. government is uh, 
incredibly hostile uh, to the uh, fossil fuel industry. And that's only going to mean that uh, the people that are willing to stick it to us uh, in the Mideast, Venezuela, the rest uh, are just going to glom on. Um, I have to say that I think this is the single biggest input to the huge problem we have with inflation. Uh, that uh, when they changed that and everybody started raising prices on crude, it has literally gone into everything. Like, uh, anybody's going to try that again, uh, eh, they've done dumb stuff. But, uh, uh, until we change our policy here, I think uh, the green light on crude as they make sure it's harder and harder to get. See you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to.